you do have to think about crisis management before the crisis arrives. So you have to have a whole set of menu to tell the staff what to do when a crisis happens. And the first question is, who decides we should push the button? In other words, who decides that we are in crisis mode? Um, preparation is very important and uh, you can never be overly prepared. But there are some certain basic elements that you have to think through ahead of time. In Hong Kong, I would say most often the junior staff will not voice their view, even though if they don't necessarily agree with the senior people. It's more a culture, it's the leadership style, if the leadership encourage and want to really hear what people have to say before he or she make the decision. I think that message very quickly will go down into the management. You see many senior women leaders in uh, different financial firms. Uh, take banking as an example. Currently, all of our major banks, I think, all have senior women in their top team. So I think in the management team, there is no glass ceiling. On the board level, there is, one cannot say a glass ceiling, but somehow we have been unable to attract enough women into uh, boards, regardless of whether financial uh, institution or otherwise. It is something that I think Hong Kong must catch up.